Hello, we're back. It's Begley from ctboom.com. We are here at Townline Fine Wine Spirits and Beer in Stratford, right off Holly Lane in the Big Y parking lot right here. And this is episode two. So we're, this week we're going to feature beers for your dad. Hops for pops, if you will. So hops, of course, IPAs, the, the big trendy kind of movement in beer now. And if your dad is a fan of that, or maybe isn't a fan but would like to try it, we have four beers here that are the perfect ones to start, start out with. If you want to try some hops, or for the fan, the hophead dad, these are going to be perfect. So I'm here with Steve from Townline, and tell us about the first one we're going to go to. Okay, uh, you know what? Let's start off. They're they're all dad inspired for the weekend, and uh, so we've got different types of dads. Let's start off with the Alpha Dog. <laughs> perfect. Yeah, Laughing Dog Brewery. They they do a good job. Uh, the Alpha Dog is kind of one of their more sought after ones. It's their double IP or their Imperial IPA, I should say. Um, so yeah, let's get it going. Alright, All right, we're going for dad. For dad. <laughs> oh yeah, that's great. Get this for your dad. <laughs> it's tasty. Yeah, so I mean, the Imperial IPA, the, the, the whole style, basically all the Imperial references is the fact that there's higher alcohol to it, more malt involved, so it's a, it's a more, it, it's, it's an amped up IPA. Oh, okay. There's still all that hot character, but, you know, with a lot more character. Nice. So, now the dog, aptly named. <laughs> Definitely, uh, you know, this one will stick with you for a little while. Yeah, yeah, will love it. Great. <laughs> all right, let's move on to the second beer in our Pop and Caps episode two. All beers for your dad's hops for pops. So let's move on to. So if you, you notice a little theme with uh, these beers, kind of represent or, or, or kind of talk about your dad in a way. So this one for me kind of doubles clown shoes for like the jokester dad who's fun with all the kids, and then the superhero. Like like your favorite like super Superman dad. That's right. So tell us a little bit about this one. Okay. Well, uh, clown shoes. Clown shoes does a good job. They make a real wide variety of styles. The superhero is actually one of their more mellow names. But the uh, again, it's a it's another uh, it's a, it's just labeled as an IPA, but it's there. It's high alcohol, so again, it definitely fits that imperial IPA right. category. And uh, yeah, let's get it going. Let's pop the cap. I like that one better than the Alfred. Yeah, it's got a little, a little bit different weight to it, a little bit different. It's a little smoother. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it's still, even though it's still high alcohol, it's definitely a little bit more balanced than the Alfred. Right. So, awesome. All right, hops for pops. Let's move on for to the next beer for your dad. Now, I'm actually familiar with this one. This is okay. Stone Brewery Arrogant Bastard Ale. So this is for the dad. If you actually, we won't read the whole description, but there's a hilarious description on the back. This, as you can see right here, you're not worthy. So this is for the dad that thinks that he's like awesome, like, oh, look at me. And then this is the beer that you should get him for Father's Day to be like, here, try this, dad. Especially if he's used to like the mainstream type beers, this is the perfect one to get. So yeah, let's pop it up. Yeah, uh, Stone Brewing, they do a great job. Uh, out there in California, it's kind of part of, uh, they're definitely one of the royalty uh, of California. And they're in San Diego, right? Yes, yes, which is the Mecca. Beer, crap beer. So that's another cool thing for your dad is, again, if he's used to those mainstream beers that he gets all the time, maybe he has the same beer he always buys, a, a place like Stone has a great history behind it. Like, they're in San Diego, they have a cool, so maybe like a fun gift would be do a little research and give a little like write-up about the brewery of the beer that you're getting. Like, that would be a fun thing. Yeah, well, and it, the other fun thing with the Arrogant Bastard is, and actually, it even makes, you, you mentioned the back label, they make a joke about the people that drink, just drink the, the mainstream right. yellow, we won't name yellow anybody, water, yeah. I believe they call it. <laughs> right. But the, uh, so definitely if you're trying to either get your dad to try better beer, or if your dad already knows good beer, either way, this is going to be something they do. And he might be impressed yeah. if you get him this one, so let's, uh, let's try it. Yeah. A little darker than the other two. Absolutely. A little bit more malt. This isn't technically, uh, I've never seen them classify themselves as a imperial uh, IPA. Still got that high alcohol. It's still got the a good amount of malt, and it's still got that good hot character to it. So great. Good. All right, the final beer for Hops for Pops for Father's Day this weekend is going to be the Heavy Seas Brewery, the Big Dippa. Now, this one, I love the label. It's a great, like, it's got that old man, and he's kind of looking at the oak age barrel with the, with the constellation. Right, tell us a little bit about this one. All right, uh, this one is going to be a little bit more, uh, of all these styles, this is going to have a little bit more weight to it, a little bit, uh, a little bit more robust. So uh, for a dad that maybe isn't 
has big hot pen that tends to drink kind of darker or maltier styles. This would be a little bit more up his alley. Okay. Uh, than some of the other guys. So I call it. Let's pop it up. Pop it up. It's got that different, not even taste, it's got like a different feel to it. Yeah, it's got it's got a whole different thing to it. I mean, the, the barrel aging on this guy just adds a, a whole other dimension to it. Uh, really kind of smooths it all out. Makes it really approachable. It is still a pretty big beer. There's a lot of intensity there, but the uh, it's just kind of it's made a, a little bit more mellow by that. By the barrel. Great. All right, so cheers to the dads. Happy Father's Day this weekend. Uh, Poppin' Caps. This was the Hops for Pops segment, episode two of Poppin' Caps. So for my dad, I would most likely get him the... I'd probably get him the clown shoes superhero because my dad's really kind of goofy, kind of like I am, so he would get a kick out of that. And I think just taste-wise, he would probably like that one the best. But Steve here is a dad as well, so happy Father's Day this weekend. Thank you. Now, yeah. out of these beers, which one, if your kids or your wife was going to get you a beer, what, what would you pick? Uh, you know what? Uh, for myself, I'm actually a big fan of kind of either the two later ones. Just they're a little bit more malty in style, and, and I myself am not necessarily as the biggest hothead in the world, so I'd go that way. Uh, that would, hint, hint, ladies, that would be, uh, <laughs> that'd be what I would want. Um, for my own dad, I would probably go with the Alpha Dog. Just he tends to like a, a little bit lighter style. He likes the hop character a little bit more, and so that's probably how I'd go. And, yeah, awesome. So that wraps up episode two of Poppin' Caps, Hops for Pops. Get your dad a good beer this weekend. He'll love it, trust me. Please. So next week, <laughs> we're going to be back here at Town Line with Steve, and we're going to do summer beers. So the best beers for the summer, because next week, next weekend, is the first weekend of summer, the kickoff to summer. So next week, Poppin' Caps, ctboom.com. Join us then. See you later. Cheers.